In this video, we're going to focus on how we can color the grid line and more specifically, how we can color a specific grid line that we can assign based on certain values or on its index number. So let's start to explore how we can do this. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers question, which is how to change the color of one grid line in a chart in ChartJS. And this question came from one of my other videos about uh, how to change the grid color in a radar chart in ChartJS. So if you scroll down here, you can see this question came from Housecat is in the house. A special thank you to Housecat for asking this question. And this is what Housecat asks. Do you know how to set the color of just one grid line to a specific, uh, to be a specific color in a bar chart? All right, so let's look, look into that specific question. So the first thing what we need to do here is to make sure we have the default code. So go to chartjs3.com getting started. And you might see this error here. I get this error on Google Chrome, but on my other laptop and on Firefox, it works fine. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's copy this code here. And once we get this code here, copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure to watch this specific video that explains the JavaScript. So I'm going to paste the code in here. And once I did that, I want to cut out the title here. At least that's for me. For you, of course, it's not necessary. Save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have our bar chart here. And what you want to do is, for example, we want to get the grid line of number 12 and assign this a specific color. So how can we go around to this? Now the first thing what we need to do here is we need to focus in the specific area. And in this case, we're focused on the Y scale. So number 12 here is one of the Y scales. So to do this, in here, we have the scales, and then we say here the Y, scale that's the specific scale we want to focus on we can put here comma and then here we can start to work on the item so basically this is another namespace that we use that is the grid so what you're really saying is go into the scales go into the y-axis and then pinpoint the grid because that's where we want to play around with the grid lines in chartjs 2 it's called grid lines and in chartjs 3 they change it to grid because by default it is given that it's a grid line so in here what we want to do here is basically add the color so if we do a color here by default what will happen is we we get here a default color so let's say this is green and if i save this now and refresh you can see here everything becomes green we don't want this what we do know is that this specific option here or uh, namespace is also a function meaning we can create a function here to pinpoint anything specific so let's do that right now so what we're going to do here is basically create a callback function here so we can say here um oh, make sure we have here parentheses and then we say here context this will be very important i'm going to show you on later why let me put in here the function expression arrow or the arrow function expression this is very important here because this basically says here it's another word for function here instead of function here as you might notice like if you do it like this then you would put in here the item or whatever it will be. But now in this case, just remove this because this is ES6 or they recommend you to use lesser the word function. So this is the, what we're doing here. To make sure you understand what we're doing, I want to do here a console log. And in this console log, we just grab the context and just log out the context in our developer tab. So if I refresh here now, and don't worry about these lines. Right now the color here, this is a command and the color is now equal to none. So what happened is it shows it and then the color is being removed. So don't worry about it, but let's open up our developer tab because what is more important is the information that we have here. You can see here, we have the value, we have the label, and we have also the type, which is a tick. And I can see here the index number. So knowing these two items is very, very useful. We can here we have the index number and here we have the value. So First of all, let's do it based on a value. And then later on, I'm going to show you another very useful trick. So what I'm going to do now is basically this. In here, we have this context. And just for now, we just say if, oh, let's make sure you see that one so you understand what I'm doing. Here, we go into the, the tick, and then we grab the value. If the value equals number 12. So what we need to do here is the following. We're going to make here a simple if statement. And this if statement, or before we even do the if statement, I just want to 
uh, get the specific value out of it. So we say here value, how do we get this value? From tick, tick and then value. And if you hover over it here, you will see here eventually the, um, the destination or how to get there, the namespace basically. So we say here context.tick.value. If I save this now, refresh, you can see here now it grabs all these values here. The values here is basically an array with all the numbers in here. If we change this, you will see that this will also change dynamically. Uh, let's go up here into our values here. Let's make this 900. Save this. Refresh. Now you can see here it starts at 0 and ends at 900 because of this here. Different structuring now. So for now, oh, I don't want to do that. For now, let's undo this. Go back on 9. And here I'm going to show you now a simple statement. Say if, let's say if the value here would be equal strict to, let's say, number 12. That's the one we wanted here. So in the middle, number 12. In that case, I want to show the color, or basically what we want to do here is return the value. Uh, let's get a specific color here. Let's get the green color, which is the fourth value here. Return this value here. Make sure you remove all the accent. It's a string value. There we are. So once we did this, semicolon, and then if it's not, we can say else, and then we say return the default color. So what is the default color? Well, in this case, the default color is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right, so this is very important. This is RGB value. So if I save this now and refresh, there we are. So we grab this green color, which is the border color here, and that's this, and it's equal to number 12 right now. So if I say, well, I want number 10, you can do it here. Save that, refresh. There you are. So this works very well, and then we can put in here, if we do here 100, you will see that this should work as well. However, we get an issue, because now it goes down here, which is fine if you want these values to be uh, hard-coded. But we have another issue here, or not even hard-coded, is you want to be more dynamic. How are we going to solve that one? Because let's say here, we have value 1000, refresh. Now the line is gone, because the value should be equal to 10. And it's not showing here. So that's why I want to show you another one. So if I save this again back here, refresh, scroll down here. And then what we're going to do here is go back here into the tick, save this, refresh. So if you go in here, we have another item as well, because this here is basically an array. This here is an array that's being shown. There are other values, but they're not being considered in the array of the grid line. And you can see here, all of these values are being shown, which are related which are considered a tick. And then we have here, if you click on context, which is a dollar sign context, we can also get the index value. And the index value is very important because this index value is one equals value number two, or this index is one, which is value number two. Value number two is this one, and this is index one. So this is value number four, but this is index two. Index three equals this, etc., etc. So if you really look at this, namespace let's go and get this grab this one here let's say you can see here it's dollar sign context dot index so let's do that one a dollar sign or we have this and then we have dollar sign context dot index so if i save this now and refresh you can see we get one until nine and that is correct because this has basically 10 the length equals 10 because there are 10 grid lines and it starts at zero so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering why 9, because we're, we're counting now the uh, index numbers of it. So that's why. So there's 10 elements, but we call them index 0 starts. That's the first one is index 0 because it's an array, array 0 based counting. So what we're going to do now is we can now, based on this information, we can always grab the center here, or let's say, Number five. We always want to grab number five, no matter what. Even if you have 1,000 values, a million values, doesn't matter. So let's grab this. And then we say here, we're going to put in this here. And we say this equals number five. The moment we do this and save this, refresh. Oh, all right, so there's something is happening here. Uh, context, or, or I, I guess I misspelled it with on text instead of context. As you can see here, I forgot to see. Make sure you have it correctly. Save this, refresh. Now we have it here on number 10. So it's always on index five, no matter what the value is. So let's put this on 900 or 9,000, save this, refresh. You see here, now it goes to this. 
if you put this on 450 save that and now it's somewhere here so it will always grab the index element instead of the or sorry the index number of the array instead of a static value so this is another way to play around with that and then the return value which is the default value is this one here and of course you could give this another color as well we could make this all kind of crazy colors red then it's by default red except for this specific item but of course that was not the question there we are so we put this back here and there we are so if you like this but maybe you say well i have sometimes a line i need to draw on here between because let's be honest we don't want always the index maybe you need something very specific here for that i'm going to recommend you to explore this specific video which is called how to create an arbitrary line with text in chart.js where you can for example say we hit a target at a certain point and here it's shown uh, basically exactly matching with the grid line but you can control this completely this video shows exactly 